Hello there, this is Dave Allen for the Amazing iPad Review, Amazing iPad Quick Tips. So let's get started and see what we can do. Well, first thing we're going to have a look at is mail. And one of the things I just might want to do with mail is to be able to see what's in the email a little bit easier. And to do this, you can actually set a minimum text size. So what we need to do to go to this is to go to the settings. And in the settings, we'll go to mail, contacts and calendars. And we go to minimum font size. And we can change it from small to something a little bit different. So we can see this a little bit easier. What we're going to do is change this to extra large. Let's go straight back to mail now. And you can see that the text has become bigger. How about that then? So if your eyesight is not too good, and we can't be bothered to go and find your spectacles, then why not just change the minimum text size for your email messages? OK, so let's just go back into the settings again, and we'll change it back to medium. I think that's where I had it. Be. Well, I had it a bit small before, but uh, I think medium is quite a good size for me. And go back into mail, and you see the text size has changed back to as it was. Now, another thing that we could do is we could actually sort of say, well, there's more than just the mail that we want to have a larger size text. So why don't we go back into settings and do some changes? That's going to affect the text size in more than just mail. So to do this, we need to go into accessibility, and we can turn a large text. Now in this one here we can make text larger in calendar, contacts, mail, messages and notes all at the same time. And at the moment it's set to off but let's just change it to 32 point text. Go back to mail. And as you can see the text size has increased there making it much easier to read what is on the screen. So there you go, that's two things you can do with text to make them bigger. You can do it so that it's just in mail or in a few other applications as well. Let's go back into the settings again. Let's go to accessibility, go to large text and put it back the way it was. OK, so let's go back into mail again. And something that you might want to do when you're in mail is you might want to look at the signature. So this is the standard signature where it says sent from my iPad. And you might want to change that to sent from my iPad with wild abandonment. So that's how you can change the email signature in your mail messages from your iPad. So there you go, three quick tips. And this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and Amazing iPad. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can find out more tips for the iPad and also for the Mac. Bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon.